This is Dan Bell of Bell Certified. Today we're speaking about 35 U.S.C. 102b. A person shall be entitled to a patent unless the invention was patented or described in a printed publication in this or a foreign country or in public use or on sale in this country more than one year prior to the date of the application for patent in the United States. So the this prior art event has to have occurred more than a year before the US filing date filing date in the United States so let's look at this we have a target patent that our lawyer has given us and they tell us to invalidate a claim which claims in the patent they want invalidated or all of them and so we start with claim one and we say claim one we try to find a reference uh, that teaches each and every element of that claim and that says R for reference and this is in the prior art how do we know it's in the prior art because it's more than a year before the application for patent in the US this is the simplest case. So it's a year and a day, year plus a day. And then it's what we call a statutory bar. If it's, if it's, if it's patented more than a year, or described in a printed publication more than a year, anywhere in the world, then it's a statutory bar. If it's a public use in the US or on sale in the US and it's more than a year, it's a statutory bar. What does statutory bar mean? Remember we had the concept of swear behind? You would give this reference to to, the, to your lawyer and they would say, and the other side would turn around and say, oh, we, turns out we conceived of this and reduced it to practice. We had prior invention, therefore your reference is no good. That, that whole conversation is not available in a statutory bar case. So the swear behind, that's a swear, and the derivation concept that we learned about on uh, we learned about in 102a and 102e no good they can't do that it doesn't matter what the inventor did and um, this also coincides with another concept that's interesting for 102b and it's the concept that the reference can be by anyone when we were looking at 102a or e we were trying to find an invention that that was by another um, and it had to be by another because one of the requirements in a of a and e was that it that it be before this inventor's invention date your reference had to be before their invention date well that ha under that rule you know the, the inventor's own publication can't be before their invention date because they couldn't have even published it before they invented it so it had to be by someone else 102b could be by anyone could be by the inventor so we often say that um, the inventor steps on their own foot and basically the, the way that works is if the if the inventor causes a prior art event whether it be a public use or a sale or a, a pant a patent you know patented I, I don't know what would that be in a, maybe in a foreign country or if they uh, if they if they cause something to be printed or something is printed doesn't matter the cause of it I, I should say the inventor it could be even done in uh, without the inventors permission it, if that inventor if that inventors own work is more than a year if it's go if it becomes published or, or accessible and in, in, in some way that qualifies under 102b then they have a year that they have one year to get it on file they've got to get it on file before that year passes right so they can't go past a year they got to stay within the year all right let's look at another example So they give the inventor, the lawyer gives you the target. They tell you they want claim one and invalidated. By the way, you found claim one here. That's why this was a relevant reference. Taught each and every element. So they tell you this is another one. They give you another patent. They say they want it invalidated. Um, 102B provides that it's 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 more than the year prior to the date of application for patent in the U.S. <clears throat> We'll learn later there are certain statutes that allow you to claim this is now not a prior art reference 
but this is an earlier filed family member and there's a there's a priority claim here priority claim so this target application claims priority to this earlier filed family member um, now if you are if this earlier filed family member has 35 USC 112 support paragraph 1 believe it or not that says 112 and this says that's the para sign paragraph 1 for claim 1 if there's support in this earlier filed application for claim 1 then then you set the 102b bar date a year or more before the earlier application with support and um, so that's your date you look for the reference back here somewhere so what we're saying is that the um, the reference has to be a year before the earliest application in the family that claims support there's two kind of references two kinds of references that qualify for this one is a US uh, application um, and the other is a a PCT application that says PCT not PET that's a C right there patent cooperation treaty that designates the US so if this is a either a US application provisional or non-provisional or a PCT application that designates the US then this application here can use its filing date so long as it has 112 support for the claim that you're speaking about at the moment and if that's the case then you set the, the 102B date a year and a day so you need to find a reference that's a year and a day before this earliest uh, qualifying uh, filing date <clears throat> and indeed in the reading materials we'll, we'll see that um, that this target patent that you're trying to invalidate can claim to a series of earlier family members E1 that's a one in there E2 E3 and so on and each can claim back in time so long as each along the way has support for claim claim one so support here claim one support here claim one support here in that case uh, it, so long as each is either a US application or a PCT application designating the US you can get the earlier filing date and set your 102B date from there the year, year and a day uh, from there this is where you reference and that reference so long as it teaches each and every element of the claim and it's a year more than a year before the earliest US qualifying then it's prior art okay so those those are three examples the, the the limit to this is is that if this one here claimed priority to a foreign application Fran France England Japan Korea not a PCT but a foreign or a regional EPC, you know, European Patent um, Application. Uh, that is not a US f application and it's not a PCT application designated in the US. So you don't set the 102B date from there. No, you don't do that. You set it from the earliest US or PCT that has support. And um, so that the forms aren't counted so let's see oh if the if, it, if an event if a prior art event happens there's this is an exception to the this is the this is one uh, exception to the one year date being longer than a year <laughs> uh, so if, if there's a prior art event here it could be public use or um, it could be on sale or whatever the case may be and the, the inventor has a year to get their patent application on file right because it, it's not a year plus it's a year year plus is the date of the reference they have to get it on file within a year with one exception if that if the last day of that year the last day if the last day of that year gosh this pin doesn't want to write in this spot for whatever reason is a Saturday, a Sunday, or a federal holiday. 
if this day is a Saturday, Sunday, or a federal holiday, then they have until the next business day, the next normal business day, to get the patent on file. So, uh, so if, for example, if it falls on a Saturday, then they don't have to file it on Saturday, they don't have to file it on Sunday, and if Monday is a federal holiday, they don't have to file it on Monday, they can file it on Tuesday. And then, therefore, the, that year, that one year bar date, is on that Tuesday, even though it's past, you know, even though it might be, uh, that Tuesday might require you to find a reference now that's plus three or whatever the case may be. Uh, in order to be prior art, that's what that rule is. And there's one other thing. There's one other exception here that I want to just quickly talk about, and we'll see it in the reading materials. But it's called experimental, experimental use, experimental use. If this, if 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 the reference, whether it's here or through a, a, a string of application or a string of applications, or an earlier filed application, if, if it meets the one year bar date and let's say it's a let's say you look into it and you realize wait a second it looks like maybe the looks like maybe the inventor uh, inventor was the one they're the cause of this um, let's say maybe best by example Let, let's say that the you find out that the inventor had <coughs> laid some paving the invention was paving material and they laid some paving material down on the road more than a year before the U.S. filing date. Well, there is a there is a uh, there is a case and cases on uh, reference to say that if if the purpose of the prior art event was to perfect the invention for experimental purposes, uh, then that's an exception. That's not a 102B bar date. And that came out of a case where the court decided that because of the nature of the invention, that the inventor had to experiment. Uh, with it for more than a year and he had to do it in a public place because in order to see if a road works you have to be let cars drive on it and you can't hide it somewhere and let cars drive on it so they the fact that he put down some road paving materials uh, in public and and experimented for a number of years before the filing date was not did not prohibit and so you'll see that in the reading materials also uh, thanks for stopping by this is Dan Bell from Bell Certified